Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. Today I am back in space because I want to test Patrick Hansen's uh, graph drive script. Um, I saw that in one of his videos where he basically yeah, built a ship that doesn't need anything. Um, or it needs stuff, but we don't need gyros, we don't need thrusters. And that's something I definitely want to test because that's just too cool not to test. So what I want to do is grab a landing gear. What we need for that is a control seat. I hope I remember this all. I'm, I'm very, very tired today and um, I kind of just wanted to make this video to yeah, give you something because that is just too cool to not show it off. And on the other hand, it gives me something to do for now because the next things on the planet that we want to do is work more on the... Do I not have any materials? Oh, I'm missing some materials. Good. So that's stuff I should grab. Um, yeah, it's built more on the... On the... Okay, hopefully I have enough materials up here. Otherwise, I need to order stuff. Mm, need, yeah, work more on the carry-all. Work more on these things. And so... I kind of want to hold off with that for now, just because, again, next week I will have more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we need a bit of space. The, the only bad thing is that you usually would uh, so usually i would like to build this stuff in um in creative because there we have the ability to work with uh, symmetry here we can't do that so i hope that's not gold one two four good we need mass blocks uh, on the outskirts of the whole thing and we need more of them I would say so you hopefully all know that when it comes to mass blocks and artificial gravity we run into kind of problems but these problems make it so that we can cheat the system a bit and have yeah there's there's a long history of ships using graph drives but this kind of, this thing for me was special because it um yeah is a script that you can use to um drive the ship forward uh drive yeah, the ship even into um, rolling and pitching and all that stuff. So usually stuff that you would need a gyro for. But here we don't need that. So one thing I would like to have is this block and G maybe a panel. Can I still build? I hope I can. No, I can't. I need steel plates for that. Good. So we need to order this. As usual, I'm very, very unprepared to, <laughs> to fix this all up. And I hopefully have enough materials to kind of deal with this all. So the graph drive, again, it uses a bit of a I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's a bug in the game that makes it so that 
um, mass blocks react to um, to graph um, to gravity generators on the same grid basically so that we have movement where there shouldn't be any movement and this again makes it possible for us to kind of get around certain limitations and the coolest thing is it uses relatively low energy that's something why can i not why is this thing not there uh, okay then i have to be a bit quick kind of good let us produce more of that stuff then we need mass blocks i hope that i have enough materials for that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen that should be enough so then we need some more production do i have more assemblers so then i would like to just order some of these some of these some of these just to have some things with me that the build and repair system can just build up uh what did i want to say so people use these these systems kind of to get around limitations for big ships for example having a big ship with a graph drive is always a nice thing this model for example the empress had in its first iteration a graph drive something that propelled the ship forward or uh yeah cancelled out speed so that it's it's kind of the 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 acceleration of one of these graph traps is pretty high. And that's something that's neat. So if you, for example, want to have uh, a carry-all in space, something like this would be really nice because, because this thing produces thrust like crazy. And the only kind of thing that makes it not so nice is that it doesn't work in natural gravity so on the planet this ship wouldn't work on moons i think patrick hansen said something about 0 0.5 g's there it should still work and maybe if we want to go to one of the moons or back uh, at the station it would be nice to to try to use that one thing i'm pretty sure i can't do with it and that's one thing i kind of want to test is if it is remote controllable because then we could have ships that fly back and forth with this in in open space and we could fix it for example to the empress or to the big blue and have the ship propel for a bit less energy than than it usually would take so let us put down some reactors to would say small reactors we go with with small reactors for now and just put them here i don't have a clue if the center of mass or something like that is really necessary for everything but we will see how how well it works might take a while so let us see what else we need to order okay good come on we need some more displays so if we have more assemblers then we'll order some displays and maybe 
some gravity components will be needed later because we want to build some uh, graph gens on here and I will need uranium, a lot of it. So hopefully that works out. Metal grid, construction components, reactor components. Okay. And again, it's it's something I tested out in um, in in creative, and there it worked really fine. But here it it's definitely a really different ball game. I will delete the components here. Come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> I will not get angry about this. Oh, nice. So again, this this construction right now is really, really crude. And it doesn't need to be perfect. So for now, it's more of a test bed that we can see here. Let us take another look at the production. Because I would like to have panel maybe it can and just give me all the parts that we need and hopefully we can can build this up good um i think i will wait a moment until we see more of it i need to turn off the mass blocks otherwise this ship will react the cool thing about the script is that it automatically handles um, the graph chains and all that stuff. So we don't need to set anything. We put the script on here and then it should work. And that's that's really great. Good. Live. Let me wait a bit so this can be done. And then we will take a look at the uh, graph gens and all that stuff so okay did I place that too close that should hopefully work good people back in a bit so that took way longer than I thought <laughs> it didn't have any materials up here anymore so I had to grab a lot more so you can see that I surrounded these mass blocks or artificial mass blocks with gravity gens and we have a lot of interfering gravity now so that needs to be solved uh first thing we do is we put the script in so there should be a gravity flight system copy to editor check code and then this should be done so here you can see it immediately did things. So can I show the gravity range? No, I can't. We would have to have a, we would have to have a, a, I think an antenna for that. So it doesn't matter. Now all the graph blocks or all the gravity should be uh, kind of see brought closer to the blocks but i want to get rid of this i had to park this ship here because i smacked it and then the whole thing kind of flew away and until it is yeah until it is uh ready to engage we need to kind of hold it in place so let us turn around get rid of this ship for now and lock this so for one the mass blocks are turned off right now and that's something we don't need and the next thing we might want to have is... OK. 
cannot do this. Yes. Turn this on. And it immediately... Whoa! Did you see that? So it already flies. So you can see there's no gyro. Nothing on here. And it still corners really crazy. This is because now we have four points. When it comes to the artificial masses, they are able to basically take one corner of the ship and push it down. And Patrick Hansen did it, did it in a way where now this whole thing is steerable. And this is just amazing. And you can see that there is a relatively consistent, uh, consistent thrust curve. It also has dampeners. We, I think we can even turn them off. Can we turn them off? Uh, not yet, it seems. But that's for me. That's completely okay. So it stops relatively fast. And do you see the percentage of power it uses? That's just, don't know, four small reactors. And we could get rid of two of them. It's, this is amazing. This is really cool. Oh, man. I, I don't know. I, I need to find a way to use that. Maybe together with... Uh, on one of the big ships. So having having this with maybe more mass blocks and more graph gens should give us a whole lot of power for not a lot of energy used. And again, we don't have any gyros or anything like that. That's just cool. Oh man, yeah, Patrick Hansen, Patrick Hansen, this is just great. I already left you a comment and I will link the video down below. We will keep this episode really short because it's just, don't know, it's basically to show this system off and uh, to give proper credit to this. This is just cool. And again, it seems that he also wants to refine this whole thing a bit more. So that makes real sense. Oh, man. And it's not bad. It's really not twitchy. It is solid, I would say. Really, really cool. And again, this all with just mass blocks and gravity gens and... A programmable block and just a cockpit seat. Nice, nice, nice. Good people, I think that's all for today. I, I, again, I wanted to keep this really, really short just to show this to you, to tell you uh, that I'm fine next week and uh, tomorrow probably we will do a bit more. Tomorrow is stream day, so let us wait for this. Um, then we have... Oh, I, I don't know, it could be that... Ramatheb is not here, but we will stream anyways, hopefully, and uh, we'll see how that all works out. Good. Um, people, that's all for today. Hope you liked this episode, although it is very, very short. But again, this, this needed showing off. And I hope you are all right. You all... And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode, I would say. See you guys.